let's talk about some of the characters who might be popping up in Agatha all along. Starting off with Topaz from Werewolf by Night who has ties to the Darkhold. Also, Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat, who has ties to Agatha. They fought each other on Heroes Reborn. We may also see Wondagore Mountain, where Wanda was at the end of WandaVision and in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. This has ties to Spider-Woman, obviously Wanda, and the High Evolutionary, who was in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Hellstrom, who has ties to Ghost Rider, Agatha, and Mephisto, who should be popping up in the show, mind you. Uh, but this has nothing to do with the Hulu show, so just ignore that. Danny Ketch is supposed to be introduced in the MCU before he becomes Ghost Rider, so what better place than to debut it here? Apparently, we're also supposed to have more than one Ghost Rider in the MCU, so let's see how that turns out. Can't forget about the Darkhold Redeemers, a team that was put together to fight against Cathan and the Bearers of the Darkhold. They have ties to Midnight Suns. Amanda Sefton, aka Jemaine Zardos, who has ties to X-Men, Nightcrawler, and also becomes the ruler of Limbo after Magic leaves. She also has ties to Doctor Strange, Dormammu, Excalibur, and the Sorceress, so she could bring a lot to the table. Jennifer Kale, who I'm pretty sure was in the trailer, was also supposed to be popping up during WandaVision, but instead she's getting her debut in the Agatha Harkness show. Speaking of WandaVision, Bova, who was an Easter egg in WandaVision, is also on the table for this show. And as far as characters that are already in the MCU go, Elsa Bloodstone might be popping up. With Blade on the horizon, having a person that's immune to vampire bites is pretty important. And I'm pretty sure she also dated Deadpool in the comics, so that could be crazy. And of course, the man, the myth, the demon himself, Mephisto. I mean, this one is pretty obvious. Agatha works directly with Mephisto during the Avengers Disassembled run and going into the House of M. He is the big bad for the supernatural side of the MCU. I know it's kind of become a huge meme to say that Mephisto is going to pop up because of how everything in WandaVision was pointed out to be, oh, yo, it's Mephisto, oh, yo, it's Mephisto, but he really should be not only referenced, but also make his debut here in Agatha all along. Honestly, I think seeing these demons in the trailer was the biggest hint that we will be going the whole Mephisto route. Drop a like, follow, and let me know if you want an in-depth breakdown on any of these characters.